Hey guys, um, I want to make another short video um, just to give kind of a feedback on my part about um, my own channel and my right to um, explain or um, talk about my, my truths. Now, before I get started with what I have to say, um, this is my YouTube channel and I've created this YouTube channel. I've created my business and I've, cre I'm a creator. I am a co-creator. I am very highly inventive. Okay. Very, very highly inventive. And my works manifest in the future. I've always been that way and I've always succeeded in that way. Everything that I create is not in the present, it's in the future. Every action, every word, every deed manifests in the future. Okay? This I have results in this from I was a little child to elementary because my high school and my elementary school were my high school in particular were was an academic high school and after me after after my experiences and after you know uh my success with um proving my points proving my experiences and documents in the academic system of being incorrect that school that academic district changed a lot into their school and these are facts and this is real. If you have access to these districts and you open up my files and my names, you will be able to see that I have accomplished this. Okay. So I, I'd like to say that from the two last videos that I made about my DNA and double helix, I literally lost three subscribers. Okay. In l about an hour. Okay. So... I'm going to take that as very symbolic because the goddess that I mentioned um, in that video, Al Utsa, the original, um, whether she's a moon goddess or a star goddess or a Venus or um, connected to Saturn, connected to Allah, the prehistorical, uh, pre uh, religious goddess, the three faces of goddess, she is connected to Ishtar, Astarte. Um, Inanna, um, Aphrodite, Hecate, she's considered to be Hecate as well, okay? And I always say I have multiple facets, I've never not mentioned that in my videos, I always say there is over 10 faces that I have, okay? So my channel is about being honest and authentic and speaking my truth because the future generations are in for it, Okay? And my way, if I keep scaring people and telling them, you know, this is negative is going to happen, that's going to happen. My intentions, my goals, my aim is to heal this planet by working with crystals, working with the earth elements such as trees, okay? Speaking very loving and honest. My me being in my integrity is sticking to my morals and my ethics and my values and me admitting and telling my clients, my potential clients, my viewers, my subscribers, all of this. So if, if you know, if you find yourself to keep watching me and then, you know, all of a sudden go elsewhere and unsubscribe to my channel because I say talk about my DNA or a religious thing or a man cannot achieve the 13th dimension um, but a woman can and all this stuff, I would like just for you to know, um, I will see you in a few weeks, I will see you in a few months um, because a lot of times people that unsubscribe to me, they subscribe back and if they don't, then that's fine but they will be able to see that when they go and do the education themselves, they will find that everything I'm saying is highly, highly accurate, okay? You can do all the research yourself. You can do all the 
and you'll find that whatever I say will manifest. Other people will start saying it, whether I've said it years ago, whether I'm saying it now, you will find other spiritual guides and channelers. They will be saying what I'm saying now in the next five years, in the next two years, in the next 10 years. So we are all connected. We are all part of this energetic grid, but we each have a different place in this world and what it is that we have to offer and I will never be anything other than my authentic self which is playing the part of my different faces my different faceted self okay to protect women to protect children to show them that you really do have your inner in your power okay women go through a lot of sexual trauma and a lot of sexual abuse on a regular basis okay a man carries a seed and a woman has a womb and in this womb she has an eggs an egg and in that egg she carries a child a soul and with the man's intention gives birth to a new child and that child is born of the of an intention therefore the child adapts the father's uh, uh, intention yet adapts the mother's nurturance or pain and abuse. So whether the man leaves the woman or he stays into her life, that child is very much a part of that karmic tie. So I'm not here to teach women to abuse men or to abuse situations. I'm here to teach women how to stay centered, empowered, to survive traumas, to really learn and understand what the Kabbalah is. Because the Kabbalah could be good just it is bad. Just like everything in life. Fire. If you put your fingers in fire, you're going to get burned. But yet fire gives us warmth. It shows us the light. It shows us enlightenment. It gives, sustains life. Right? Everything has a positive and everything has a negative. And the only way to stay centered is to be balanced through all of it, okay? So my healings all involve teaching, educating, supporting, and protecting through my words, through my spiritual grids, through what it is that I have, I'm here to offer. It doesn't matter what happens to me, whether it's external whether it's something that I'm feeling or experiencing, but it is completely my responsibility and it is completely up to me on how I handle it, how I handle myself and how I take care of everything around me, especially myself. Every single one of us is very powerful and every single one of us carries that seed, that fruit, that being that is planted underneath the ground to grow a new intention, to grow a new world. So if I am here expressing my truth and you find me intimidating or threatened, because a lot of people do, then I really ask you to really go within and really find out what your intention really is. Because if you find my truth to be a threat, then I... I really can't help you. And that means my message and my life purpose is not for you. Or I'm not for you at this given moment. I'm not for you at this moment in time. Because you will find all those who are in a movement, a spiritual awakening. We are all on this spiritual grid. Even people who don't believe in God. People who don't believe in these spiritual grids. And who are walking into this practical life of 9 to 5. Making the money. Making the dough. Are all feeling this spiritual grid of movement. They themselves are going through telepathic things. That they themselves are questioning. Although they don't believe it. But they themselves are going through these 13 certain things. Okay. So. If you can go within and, and ask yourself why this person is, I feel a threat by this female, then maybe you'll be able to be enlightened and become more aware and awakened to your own intentions. And you'll find that maybe it really has nothing to do with the other person or maybe perhaps it has nothing to do with yourself. Because maybe it has something to do with what's happened in the past for you, for your ancestors. Something that has traumatized you as a child. Some bad experience. I find men in particular 
are very frightened of women. And I mean this in the most loving, loving light. But most men are frightened of women because women carry so much power over their hearts. Their physical pleasures and their hearts. It all has to do with their mother. Their experiences with their mother. Their experiences of this, this earth. It's all connected, guys. I will never hate men. I will never hate women and I will never hate children, even if I've had bad experiences. Because I am Talar Lori, I am Red Earth Goddess, and I'm here to leave my legacy and implant my unconditional loving intentions into the ground of this earth so that the core stays loving and grows and vibrates on nothing but love all over this globe. Okay, so if you understand and you truly get this message, thank you so much. Kisses to you. And if you haven't yet and you still are intimidated or find me to be anything that you think that is not or 